Are you thinking about living in Windermere? Well, you're gonna wanna check this video out because we're gonna talk all about the different areas in Windermere. Hi, this is Melody Wilson with the Real Life Team at Remax Elite, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about a southwest community of Edmonton, which is called Windermere. Now, Windermere is considered one of the more expensive areas in the city of Edmonton to live in, and it spans across a variety of communities. On Realtor.ca, you'll be able to search communities such as Glen Ridding, Windermere, and Keswick, all as separate communities. Now, they're all considered Windermere, and within Windermere, underneath those search criteria of Realtor.ca, there's actually a whole bunch more communities. Because it's still newer, a lot of the developments have given specific names to areas. So for example, in Glen Ridding Heights, there are a vast amount of Glen Ridding. So Glen Ridding has a lot of new built homes. You're gonna have neighborhoods called Brenton at Glen Ridding. You're gonna have Saxony Glen at Glen Ridding. You're gonna have Glen Ridding. Glen Ridding Heights and uh, Glen Ridding Ravines. Now, right now, they're still developing that specific area of Edmonton, so we keep seeing new names pop up all within that Glen Ridding area. And the types of homes you're gonna find there are your townhouses with condo fees. You will find the single detached garage homes. You'll also find zero lot lines, and you'll find the garages in the front, the double garages. Now, if you're looking to live in there, you'll still be very close to easy access to all the amenities of the Currents at Windermere. Currents at Windermere is a huge selling feature for everyone who lives in Windermere because you're close to the movie theater, you're close to shops, you're close to grocery stores, there's a Cabela's, and you're close to the Terwilliger Drive and Anthony Hendy. When you live in Glen Ridding, you will be accessing it from Rabbit Hill Road, and it is a lot easier to go onto the Henday from the Rabbit Hill Road because it's less traffic than the Terwilliger Drive. Glen Ridding Ravines is also really close to Yeager Ridge Golf Course and the Eco Station, which is very convenient if you're dropping things off, something that's a feature of Edmonton that you're able to drop off things and recycle them without having to throw them in the trash. So in Windermere, you also have the Modern Line Homes, and they're usually located at the one at Keswick. So Keswick is spelled K-E-S-W-I-C-K, but it said Keswick. Now, Windermere is actually named after a bunch of streets in England. So that's a fun fact for you. And Keswick has one at Keswick, Keswick on the River, and Keswick in general. Now, Keswick on the River is located a little bit further, and it has it's closer to the River Valley. One at Keswick is just a little bit to the west, and it's not as close, but it's still relatively close to the River Valley and Keswick in general is just right in the middle. The average price of homes in Keswick is actually $553,000. They range from $300,000 all the way up to $1.420 million in Keswick. Of course, that home for $1.42 million actually has spectacular views of the Edmonton River Valley. So that's one of the features of living right there on Keswick on the river. Another community in Windermere is Langdale. Now Langdale has some zero lot lines, but they have zero lot lines in a way that we aren't normally used to seeing in the city. They're called streetscapes. And what that means is they are wide and shallow lots. So what does that mean? The homes have a really great curb appeal because the homes are quite wide. You can do quite a bit of things. And I love the look of these streetscape homes. If you don't care about a yard, then this home is perfect for you because the yard is not gonna be very deep as they're called wide and shallows. Now, they're still building some of these, but they're finishing them off right in Langdale. It's a great little tucked away neighborhood in Windermere, and it has access to paths. It has uh, townhouses with no condo fees, and it has access to all the amenities and really close to the currents at Windermere, and it's located where Ellerslie Road is. Now, that portion of Ellerslie Road is slotted to be closed down and become a walking path. We don't have a date for that yet, and the city hasn't put anything on their website quite yet about that. Now, the more luxurious parts of Windermere, I mean, Windermere in a general is always more expensive altogether, but the even more expensive communities of Windermere would be Upper Windermere and West Point at Windermere. Now, of course, there's also the Windermere Estates that are in its own category of its own that are literally on the River Valley, and you can see, and these are over $2 million easily. And so we're not talking about those. Those are great, beautiful homes. They're in a more tucked away place in Windermere, closer to the golf course, actually, Rivercrest. And that is 
off to the side here. We're talking about the brand new neighborhood of West Point and Windermere with a whole bunch of new builds. If you're looking to build a estate lot, this is the community that you will be building in. The other neighborhood in Windermere is called Upper Windermere. Now this neighborhood has been around a little bit longer and has been around when Windermere first started and it has access to private amenities such as the pool and the basketball courts and ice rink. So that's specifically an HOA fee that you do pay dependent on the size of your home in Upper Windermere. You cannot access this if you don't live in that community. This community is full of estate homes and gorgeous mansion-like homes. Also lots of walking paths, lots of trails and bike paths. Now, fun fact for you, one of the most expensive properties that have sold in Windermere in the last 60 days was actually over $2 million, almost $3 million, and it was 5.7 acres of land right off by the golf course. This doesn't even have a house on it, it's just land. So the land is very much coveted in this west, southwest end of Edmonton. One of the more expensive homes that have sold in Windermere was actually one of the homes I featured on our million dollar listings Edmonton. So if you wanna check out that video, that home sold and it is now one of the most expensive homes that have sold in Windermere to date. It's over 4,000 square feet and it has two upper patios and an enclosed patio. So a prime place to entertain. If you're looking for some really nice homes to drive by, if you drive down Windermere Road and take a left onto Windermere Drive, Windermere Drive is the place to be. It backs onto the River Valley and has a lot of homes in the million dollar range. You won't be disappointed. Ambleside is another kind of starter community that you can live in in Windermere. And in Ambleside, it's actually located the one of the schools, Sister Margaret Ann Armour School. You've also got Constable Daniel Woodle School that's located right by the, state, the Superstore and right off of Tulaga Drive. So you've, those are two newer schools in Windermere that you'll have access to for your kids. Now, you can imagine there's a lot of young families that live in the Windermere area and there are playgrounds everywhere. There's playgrounds to be built and there are playgrounds already currently built. So you will not have a shortage of playgrounds. If you're looking to live in an apartment in Windermere, you'll find some right across from the state in Maine, which is really close to the Superstore and really close to all the roadways. There's also some apartments and duplexes kind of closer to behind the school as well of Constable Daniel Woodle. So that's Windermere. Windermere is very large, a very sought out community in Southwest Edmonton. If you have any questions about it, Comment down below, send me a message, I'd be happy to talk to you. Thanks so much for watching.